I just wanted to do this quick video. I just received my cold case radiator for my 94 Mustang Cobra, which is the same as 95 and GT, all at the uh, 302s. Now there were some people complaining about a uh, large gap between the fan assembly and the radiator. And it does have that, but it only takes a little bit of modification to get it flush with the radiator. And I wanted to show how little it actually took. If you look, these are the mounting mounting bosses. Uh, they're just a little bit long. These are only about a half an inch. And so all I did was open up these slots so it can drop down a little bit farther. Then up at the top, I relieved around, well, you just have to take a look and see where it's contacting. Uh, I relieved around the welds. So now the plastic is flush against the radiator there. Uh, it's pretty much flush everywhere else also. And all I'll have to do really is um, either find washers or just make small spacers here and uh, to put here to keep things tight. I could probably even use rubber washers and a washer on the bolts to uh, keep them snug. But that's all that's really necessary. I mean, it's not a complete bolt on, but the mods are very minimal to get this thing to set flat. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I've had overeating problems. I have had uh, American Muscle three row that uh, wasn't quite doing it the job on my turbo, my 374 cubic inch turbo. Um, this looks a lot better. It has two one inch tubes and uh, it's just better quality. It's about a little more than twice as much than the three row, but I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do to keep this thing cool in the uh, high desert. So I hope this helps somebody else and just shows that it takes a little bit of work, but it's not a big deal to get these to fit properly. All right, there you go, guys. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> installing this uh, supposedly drop-in to fit cold case uh, radiator into my 94 Mustang Cobra. Uh, I already have a short video on the modifications that uh, needed to be necessary for the... Uh, fan shroud to fit close because it doesn't quite fit close and now we're on to fitting the uh, gosh radiator now I don't know <laughs> these are made in China at least that's what the box says so I don't know if their jigs are off or if there's a lot of slop when Ford built these cars but trying to drop this in uh, it was impossible to get this pin uh, into the rubber grommet. As you can mostly see, this bracket here, let's see, where was it? I guess right there, let's see, it was like this. Yep, yeah, it was right against, this was right against the radiator. And there's no way to push the radiator back to get this pin into the grommet. Uh, there just was no room because this was like smashed right up against that. So, uh, you can uh, take a look here. This is the ABS motor and line uh, mount for the ABS motor. As you can see, the bolt holes, including this one, uh, to get this out. It, it was a pain. I had to, God, it took me 45 minutes to get it out. This has that funky hook on it. So when they manufacture it, it just drops in the hooks there and then they can bolt everything up. But it makes it a pain to take out when all the hoses, the uh, fittings are hooked up. So there was just no room to get this to fit. So I literally had to take it off, clean it up, and cut this part of the mount off because this was right against the radiator and it wouldn't not 
anywhere close to getting that pin to fit in the grommet. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a cluster. I think it's going to be more than strong enough uh, with the other three bolts. Um, these three slots here are for the rubber mounts. And I'm not using my ABS, so um, I don't have to worry about stress on the mount or anything. It's just hanging in there, but I don't want to uh, pull all the lines off and move everything around to uh, just totally get rid of it. So I'm pulling this mount off, but uh, I'm disappointed. They're, they're going to get a one on the installation here. I should not have to do this. I mean, it was about... About a half inch off if it had been you know moved back about a half inch it would have slipped right in there but it wasn't so oh boy oh boy hopefully that gives it enough room to fit and uh i'll keep actually let me look i had to literally bend the crap out of this of the ABS module to get it up and out of the way enough to get the um, uh, mount out so it wasn't any fun there but uh, uh, it's going but slowly not real thrilled right now well after some cursing and sawing and cutting I did get the uh, radiator in without modifying anything on it at all if I think you can probably see, if you look, wait, let's see if I can get down in there. Right down there is one of the uh, rubber mounts. And it's, it looks like it's against the radiator, but it's not because it moves around. But I'm going to put a piece of rubber in there so it doesn't rub a hole in the aluminum. But uh, boy, it just barely, barely fits. And uh, yeah. Had to remove that whole side of the bracket. Uh, let me get it. This was the side of the bracket. Um, let's see. It goes this way. And that went there, which stuck out way much, way much more, <laughs> way more. But that was there, and I literally had to remove that part of it. So, um, as I said, um, this mod is do at your own risk. Like I said, I'm not using the... Uh, ABS. I don't know if that motor needs that heavy duty of a mount, but uh, I'm not using it, so it doesn't. Uh, and again, I don't want to take everything apart and, and hook up the brake lines and all that crap, so I'm not going to do that. But um, got it in. Um, I'm not sure about the transmission cooler lines. Uh, they both threaded in nice. Um, I didn't see a compression fitting type inside in there, but it was flat, so I don't know if these are going to take uh, O-rings or not, but I've got them in there, and I've got them tight. I mean, just have to start it and see if there's a leak. If there is, I'll have to put some O-rings in there, but uh, she's in here. Uh, I'm happy about that. I'm really unhappy about how I had to modify that bracket, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, I didn't have to do that with a three row I had in it, but uh, supposedly this is a lot better, so we'll see how it goes from there, but um, <sighs> that's where I'm at now. I'll finish up in a bit and uh, get this video together. And the epilogue, if you want to call it that, to this uh, saga with a cold case, it is installed. Um, a few things now on my three row radiator I had to modify this stay and it actually fit on this guy and this guy actually fits also um, as you can see I in the other video of me modifying the, the uh, fan shroud it's nice and tight the automatic transmission fittings actually uh, fit without adapters somebody had a problem there so at least on the 94 uh, they screwed right in and aren't leaking um, not much else to say it's uh, obviously a tight fit I've got a lot of modifications here so um, 
things are a little wonky but that's just how it is this is uh i just wanted a nice fast driver so it's not uh show car quality which i just don't care about anyway but she's all in um i don't know if you can see anymore but uh yeah it was kind of a pain having to modify the uh analog system bracket but um that's how it goes sometimes not thrilled about it but um okay all right uh yeah straight piped honda gotta love that kind of neighbor but um she's in i haven't taken it for a test drive yet i got a burper and all that kind of fun stuff but she is in so uh i'll probably add a video later about uh how she compares to the three row but um this is where i'm at now so uh, have a good one peoples